The 2015 American Championship has come to a close here in Clearwater. The conference newcomer East Carolina Pirates winning big today 9-1 over the one seed Houston Cougars to earn the program's first championship tournament title since 2002. I'm just happy for East Carolina University and I'm happy for our guys. Our guys have put a lot of hard work in and, and really worked hard and for them to be experienced something this we got our 40th win today which was one of our goals and we wanted to win the American Championship and they put in a lot of hard work. I'm so proud of them. I love those guys. Oh, uh, it's an awesome feeling. I mean, I think a bunch of the guys would agree. It's just like cloud nine. You know, it's been one of our goals, and since I've been in here since a freshman, it's been three years since, like you said, 2002. For it's been three years for me, but I mean, it's an awesome feeling. Something that you can't describe, and you know, putting the goals out, getting 40 wins, and getting the conference championship in the same day. You know, that's just a great feeling for us. Oh, uh, it's huge. You know, Coach Godwin preaches. You know, just make people believe in us and try to make people know what we're about. And, and, and that goes all to him, you know, the credit to him, he came in and, and completely turned us around and made us believe in, in something bigger than us, and that was the team, you know, every, everybody gets, gets, a, gets a congrats for that because it took everybody. Sophomore Luke Bolka got the start at designated hitter and hit a two-run home run for the Pirates to the left field Tiki Hut. Bolka came in today with 24 at-bats and a one RBI season, but gave East Carolina a 3-1 lead at the top of the fifth. That ignited a five-run fifth inning that put the game away as Luke Lowry's bases-loaded single gave the Pirates a 6-1 cushion. Um, well, Bolka fell on his shoulder at Houston two weeks ago and hurt his shoulder, and he's been pretty much unavailable, and we were going to start him against Romero on Sunday, but he couldn't go. And uh, he looked good swinging the bat in the BP cages, and I asked Coach Palumbo, had he posted the lineup? He said no. I said, well, we're going to go with Bolka and put Reed Love in center field, and uh, Worked out pretty good. Oh, it, it impacted it tremendously. You know, he he got he sits the bench. You know, he's a pitcher, and one day he made a joke with coach. Was like, let me hit, coach. You know, I was a DH in, in high school, and coach was like, all right, kind of made a little deal with him, and and then you know from there on out he kind of took BP, and then he gets situations like that, and he he just swung the bat well for us today, and so that's that's huge for him to come off the bench for this weekend, not doing anything, and then just sparking us like that. On the mound, David Lucroy got the nod for the Pirates. He went four innings and only allowed one run. Nick Durazo came in in relief for Lucroy and worked five innings of one hit shutout relief. The junior retired 15 of the 16 batters he faced. It was unbelievable. I mean, for coach to put the ball in my hand and I'm just waiting, I'm just doing whatever I can every day to help the team win. And all these guys are doing whatever they can. And for coach to for coach to put it in my hands after all week we've been playing like been playing like we have been, it was unbelievable. It was a great feeling. Well, Nick just, you know, we had a lead and he went in and got ahead. And uh, you know, Nick's really good and he's been one of our guys out of the bullpen all year. But Dave gave us a chance and then Durazo came in and slammed the door. Oh no doubt. They they get all the credit. They go in and they, they threw strikes and were ahead in the counts all day and you know they just pounded the zone and, and they don't get enough credit like like it is. So Definitely, definitely credit goes to them. Unbelievable. That is the Nick DeRazzo that we know and love. Guy coming out, just absolutely pounding the zone. It was unbelievable. I mean, you can't say enough about the way he threw today. The tournament's most outstanding player was Hunter Allen, who went three for five with two runs scored. Throughout the entire tournament, he was nine for 18 with a double, triple, and six runs scored. He joined Luke Lowry, Reed Love, and Joe Engel on the all-tournament team. Oh, it's just a great feeling, but I mean, you know, credit doesn't go to me, it goes to my coaches who have who have put me in that situation and my teammates who are on base and everybody else who's picked me up and had my back through the whole thing. So just an awesome feeling. The Pirates feel like they're just getting started. They're playing their best baseball of the season and are having a blast, especially in the dugout. I mean, baseball's fun, so you gotta make it fun and we are having a blast. Brandon Saunders in there, myself, Jeff Nelson, Parker Land, we're just in there just doing whatever. We're, honestly, whatever comes to mind, we're pretty much just doing it. So it doesn't really matter, we're just having a blast. I love it. Uh, you know, nothing's really different. I mean, I think we just got some momentum and we're just going with it. But, uh, you know, Brandon Saunders, Dave LaCroix, Parker Lamb, Jeff Nelson, Bailey Sugg, you know, those guys bring the energy every single day. And, you know, Brandon's getting a little famous for his vines and stuff and his dugout shenanigans. But, uh, you know, those guys bring the energy, and that's what Coach Gowan uh, talks about every single day. And, you know, it's, it keeps us loose. You know, you, got, you have a bat at bat, you go back in there, and you just see that guy, you can't help but laugh. So it's, uh, it's a great, it's a loose environment, and uh, we're focused on one thing, winning championships. East Carolina will be watching, not waiting to hear their names called Monday during the NCAA selection show. Uh, I think we're having a selection show at Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, either way, it's going to be a good time because we're going to have all the guys there, and you know, every time we get together, it's always fun. So I just got to worry about our next game and where we're going in regionals and, and practice like that and take it one day at a time because we believe we're good and we believe we're the best. And I think we, we did a lot today to prove that we're an unbelievable team because that's what we are. We're a team. And everybody did something to help us win today. Uh, you know, that's the goal. And uh, we expect to get to Omaha every year. But, you know, we just got to take it one game at a time. Wherever we end up in a regional, you know, we just got to win the first game and go from there. But, you know, that's always a goal for us to get to Omaha and 
you know, coach has been bringing that since uh, day one, so we'll, we'll hopefully get there. When I got the job, you know, I've worn 23 everywhere I've coached to honor Coach Keith LeClaire. And when I got the job, you know, Lynn LeClaire's wife called me and said, have you thought about wearing number 23? And I said, no, I haven't. And uh, she goes, well, I, I would like you to wear it. I think Coach LeClaire would want you to wear it. And I said, well, if Coach LeClaire wants me to wear it, I'll wear it. And the plan is, you know, one day we get to Omaha, hopefully it's this year, and then we'll retire the number 23 in the outfield at East Carolina. The NCAA Selection Show will air at noon Eastern Time Monday on ESPNU. In the latest RPI rankings, the American is the third strongest conference, so several teams can expect to hear their names called on Selection Monday. Congratulations again to the East Carolina Pirates and first-year head coach Cliff Godwin. It's been a great tournament here in Clearwater, and thanks for watching us all week. From Bright House Field, I'm Haley Outen.